Hey everybody, this is a tutorial that you guys have been waiting for for a really long time. And so today I am going to show you how to make these bread uh, mini bread loaf. Yeah, bread. <laughs> and I don't even know if I can make it the same way I did before. This has been almost a year since I made this thing and it's been a really long time. And I already showed you how to make the packaging so you guys don't have to ask that anymore because I already showed you how and stuff and now I'm going to show you how to make the actual bread and stuff and for this one I actually used um, acrylic paint I didn't have any paint at like 3d paint at that time and so I used acrylic paint instead of this 3d paint and I'm going to use 3d paint for this one so you guys I'm going to make these <laughs> So here's what you're going to be needing. You're going to be needing, um, if you're only going to make one, I don't know how much you could fit in a one circular foam. This one is just a regular one from Dollarama. And it doesn't, it doesn't really matter how thick it is, but if you really want it as thick as the actual bread do, that one's pretty thin. So I'd recommend you if it's, your circular one is really, really thick, like this kind of thick, you would at least have to cut this in half and stuff but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to do normal things and stuff so you're going to be needing a circular foam a pencil and a scissors for cutting it and you're going to be needing a tan if you already have a tan color like it's already mixed and it's, it's like in a bottle you don't you're not going to be needing a yellow because, yeah, you're not going to be needing a yellow. And, yeah. So, pretty much if you already have a tan, you're only going to be needing um, a white and a chocolate or a brown. But if you don't have a tan, you're going to have to mix and you're going to be needing a yellow, which I do. And you're going to be needing a toothpick or a um, paintbrush, whatever you use to put it on there. And for me, I'm going to have this sheet of paper, which I always use this paper, to put the paint on, and I'm going to be mixing and stuff, and so, yeah, so let's get started. First off, you're going to mix, oh no, no, sorry, um, you're going to draw your typical bread size, or however big you want it to be, but a typical, typical bread shape. And so you want to cut it that after. I don't know how we're going to do this, but yeah. Try and like do it really light because it might even show somehow or something like that. I'm going to like go like this. Basically just did a straight line at the bottom where the circle goes and stuff. It's not going to be mine. It's not going to be that big, but I just did that for minor purposes. <laughs> I don't really know, but you can't really erase it after, so you better cut. Um, now you're gonna make your bread thing, and I'm just going to do another small straight line there, and go around like this. I don't really know how much or how big that is, but I'm going to go like this. So there we go, I got it, kind of. Um, and so there we go. That's where I'm gonna be cutting and stuff, so. There's the product. <laughs> And now, it kind of looks like a pea from sideways, like you can see, but actually this way. So pretty much you're kind of making a pea, which looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to cut. Try and cut slowly, because once you've cut it, it's not going to go back anymore. I 
it's okay if you have like excess and that's not really what's supposed to happen that's okay because we're gonna like retouch it after you cut it I got like one done. So I don't know if we need like more. But yeah, so once you've cut it like this, we're gonna retouch it and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so now if it looks like this, and so you're going to just turn it the other way and then cut it the way it's shaped and you're just like balancing the, the shape or something like that. Do not like cut the corners because you're gonna be needing the corner and stuff. But I'm going to do this. And still not done. So, there we go. It's not really the way it is in here, but pretty close. <laughs> kind of kind of like cool, but um, I'm trying to see if it's the same size, but it kind of looks pretty big. Oh, sorry about that. So there we go, I'm kind of done retouching and it looks like this, so yeah, I'll be right back. So I'm done retouching, this will be the front, and you have to pick a better side kind of thing, so I'm going to make this one the front. And now, so when you're like, there's colors and stuff that you have to do and stuff, okay. So um, for the sides of the, like, here I'll show you. Um, for the sides and stuff, it has to be darker than the color at the front. So like, so like you're gonna get your tan. I still have to make tan, so I'll do that. So I'll get my yellow. But you don't want it to be like a really really dark tan. So like, it depends really what you, what tan, what kind of tan you have, because there's lighter tans and like darker tan colors and stuff like that it it's not supposed to be like really really dark it's kind of like a beige color but darker than the regular color beige so that's gonna be the side of it So we're first going to make the side instead of the front. I mean like you don't need a lot of paint because it's pretty small and I think I have way more paint than I need. Oh god, turning out to be like... Oh my god. So here's a tan, this is perfect. Kind of. Like if your tan is like this, it looks kind of like a goldish. <laughs> if your channel looks like this, you need it a little bit more darker, so I'm going to do that by adding more brown in it. If you need your channel a bit more darker, I'll add brown too. And so, don't add a lot because it'll be so dark. Oh god, it's turning out to be like chocolate, okay. Okay. Oh, never mind. Oh, this time, time, okay. okay. Now, if your tail looks like this, too dark, you're gonna need a lot more 
Well, not really a lot, but like white in it. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of mixing. But I'm gonna need a whole bunch. Well, there's kind of a town, a perfect town. So there you go. That's the town of kind of color you want it to be for the sides, not the front. And so you're just gonna go ahead. It's okay, I think. <laughs> I think. Not sure. But it's okay if you get some at the front. But don't color the front too much of the tan because you're gonna put a lighter color in the front and it might show up because you're gonna put a lighter one, not a darker thing. Sorry, I'm not showing it, but there we go. There we go. That's the tan. I did a whole bunch. I'm not even supposed to have a whole bunch. But. There we go. And then you're going to let for that to dry. You might as well want to do the bottom if you could. Sorry, I'm just going to do the bottom. So you're going to let for that to dry and everything. So, yeah. You're going to wait for it to dry until you can add the, um, add the next step. Got it done and it's all dry. It didn't even take that long to dry. It only took me about like five to eight minutes to dry it. It's pretty short. Um, yeah. <coughs> Um, so once you've got the sides done, now we're going to do the front and stuff. So for the front, you need a lighter tan color, but it's kind of like a white-ish kind of thing. Except not really that white, so, yeah. So like a tan in it somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to mix my other tan, because the other tan, I wasted that. You're only gonna need a little bit, so don't put a lot. Like, try and um, see how much you need for only both sides, because you might do both sides at one time. Just pause. There's the tan. If you get this kind of tan, you need it a little bit more lighter, so I'm gonna add more light in it. So there we go. This is the tan that you want it to be um, pretty light but not that much it kind of looks like mocha and yeah, so i'm going to add that on okay so i'm just going to add by adding a little bit You don't really need a lot for the front, but if you want it to be really squishy, make it kind of like puffy and stuff. So. We're gonna let it dry. This is what mine looks like. It's not any. Really... Oh, 
I'm gonna let it dry. And this is what mine looks like. And yeah, so I'm just gonna let it dry for about five minutes. Now it's dry. And this is um this is your very last step. And now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna grab your brown and you're gonna put it on your paper or whatever you have. You can't just go right on it right away because it's gonna be all fucking fast mostly. And so you have your little drop. Like that. So you're gonna draw whatever thing you want. But um, I'm going to do the Happy face conversation. <laughs> so, I made mean, this face, which doesn't really look like the face that I wanted, but that's it. <laughs> that's everything you can do, you can't really change the face now. Yeah, so, anyway, so that is everything. And, if you can see, I messed up. And, so pretty weird. So, there's now your tutorial. So, I really hope you enjoy this video. And this is where I got something waiting for, and there you go. It's really easy. Um, it's really fun. Yeah, I love that. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.